is the first video back since becoming a family of four. I'm just gonna try to make this video happen. That's my only goal because it is just chaotic. And it's just, we're still getting used to the flow of things. We definitely don't have a set routine by any means. Also, sorry if you can hear my pumps working away in the background. I've really missed you guys so much. And we've still been doing the podcast and I've been posting here and there on Instagram, but I missed YouTube. So today we're gonna do a little day in my life with a newborn and um, this isn't typical to like get ready right after I get out of bed, but I have to go over to John's house to do a podcast. So I do always usually get a little bit ready for that. I also have my six week doctor's appointment checkup to check how everything is healing down there. And this is also kind of the benchmark to when you can usually start working out and doing that kind of stuff. So I cannot believe it's already been six weeks since I had her. Time has flown so fast. I do wanna do a whole like postpartum fourth trimester recap video, but today I just wanna bring you guys along with me on like what a realistic day looks like in this season of life. I'm done pumping, I'm so happy about that. I usually do just like 15 minutes in the morning. Let's see what we got. Pretty good. I usually only get like two or three ounces when I pump, but they say that's normal, so. I'm on the side of TikTok that's like pumping TikTok. I'm not even joking. My whole For You page is just women pouring 16 ounces of milk that they've pumped into their bottles. And I'm like, I wish I could do that because then I could cut down on my pumping sessions by a billion. Okay, let's go put this in a bottle. Also, warning about the jump scare you were about to see. This. Do you know who this is? This is Dolly. Dolly got shaved and uh, things have looked better for her, but you know, it's okay. Her to our vet to get shaved. I really just wanted to get a few of her mats shaved off because she had a few knots behind her armpits and uh, she is bald. And so uh, we just have to wait for it to grow back and it is the most pitiful thing I've ever seen. Truly, it's pitiful. Outfit of the day. This little sweater is from American Vintage and it's very cozy. And then these jeans I actually got on Amazon. They're from Levi's and they are so soft and comfy. And I didn't feel like wearing my maternity jeans anymore. And none of my normal jeans fit yet. So these are really cute. I really like them. Just made it to John's. Amelia is a little bit sad. So I'm gonna get her out of her car seat and head up. Person shows up today to record for that's the point and says, I'm YouTubing today. I said, Wow, an entrepreneur never sleeps. Oh my gosh. Look at her hair. She is an actual peanut. Look at her hair. <laughs> Here's our new very professional podcast setup. We really leveled up, guys. The little monitor. Wait, you can't even see me. And where can they watch all this, Chris? Oh yes, let me tell them. You can watch all of our videos on Patreon. So if you want to see us lounging and talking, you can find it over there. Okay, we have a 23 minute drive to get to my doctor's appointment. I think we're gonna be right on time. So let's head there. Good old Nashville. We made it. Okay, time to get this on. It's actually just a blanket. <laughs> She's perfect. We are finished at the doctor. It was actually very, very quick. Like, literally just like peeped down there. <laughs> it's like everything looks good. And I remember with James, it being a little bit more of an intense it's not intense but like a little bit longer of an appointment and i was thinking maybe that's because i tore more with james and then with amelia i only tore like a 
tiny, tiny bit. So maybe that's why it was quicker. All cleared to work out, to do other things. And I feel like they kind of use six weeks as like a benchmark for postpartum. Um, when really it takes so much longer to heal mentally and physically so I just don't want any women out there that have just given birth thinking like okay I should feel completely normal at six weeks because that's definitely not the case and before I actually went in to get checked they gave me like the postpartum depression questionnaire and it just made me feel like wow Women really go through so much giving birth and being pregnant and all of this stuff. And it's really important to be in tune with your mental health, be in tune with your body. That's why I have a therapy appointment scheduled for tomorrow. I took a little break from therapy just like after giving birth in a few weeks before. And I was like, okay, I need to get back on my therapy game. So I have a therapy appointment tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And that's perfect because, oh, it's actually at 12 o'clock my calendar just said. That's a perfect segue into our sponsor for today, which is BetterHelp. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, basically they are an online therapy and I think it is perfect for anyone wanting to begin therapy because they help to connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. And I know that sometimes face-to-face -face therapy can just be too expensive or just too annoying or a little bit overwhelming. So BetterHelp offers video calls they also offer messaging and over the phone calls so you don't even have to be face to face or screen to screen to get started you just take their online questionnaire so many therapists are like fully booked and it's just really overwhelming sometimes so I love this option so much if you guys have ever considered therapy or feel like it might benefit you which I feel like therapy would benefit anybody I will have all of the information for better help down in my description box you can go to betterhelp.com slash Kristen and that will get you 10% off of your first month of better help which I think is a great deal now do you know where we are you definitely don't know where we are because you can't see anything because I'm in a parking garage but I'm at the mall because the mall is right next to my OBGYN doctor's office and I had a larger time slot scheduled out for that appointment but it ended up being like 30 seconds so I popped over to the mall and we're just gonna go inside and see what we can find because I have not gone shopping since Amelia was born and it sounds like it might be fun it might be not so fun we'll see how she does but either way we're risking it and we're gonna see if we can find anything cute so let's go girls trip to the mall we're in Nordstrom and I found a few things that I'm gonna try on and I'll show you guys here's the four things I found a little dress a skirt a pant a pant pants <laughs> and this little romper. Um, Amelia is still sleeping, so we're gonna put her right here. And then I'll give you guys a little try on. First up, the denim romper. It looks like a dress, but it's a romper. And I think it's really cute. I just haven't worn anything like this in so long, but I don't know how I feel. I feel like it's like a seven out of 10. There is this little florally dress. It is very cute, flowy. I'm kind of obsessed. It's paused for a little diaper change, nursing break. So we have two more things. I already have the skirt on and I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Let me just show you. Here it is. I think the texture is really cool. I like that it has pockets. I think it might be just like a little too big. I don't know. Like I feel like maybe it needs to be like this length. But it's this length. I don't know. Is it giving what I need it to give? That's the question. These pants are not that cute. Well, they had potential, but I just feel like they're a little bit too boxy and baggy. So I don't think these are the ones, but they are, they had potential, but it's a no. 
the best thing in the world. That was a very successful trip to the mall. She pretty much slept the whole time except for when I nursed her in the Nordstrom dressing room. And then I had totally forgotten I had a Zoom lactation <laughs> consultant thing. So I had to do that also in the dressing room of Nordstrom. So that was great. But we have about a 25 minute drive. So let's pray that she lasts and does okay on the drive home. We were about 10 minutes into our drive and she was so sad. So I pulled over and fed her because I felt so bad. And I was like in a neighborhood anyway. So I just pulled off into the neighborhood and now I'm gonna put her back in her car seat and head back home. Cause now she's nice and full and happy. And I, oh, oh she's smiling. You are happy. We're home. And I change it into comfy clothes. Marcus is giving Amelia, Amelia her bottle. James is eating pizza with sprinkles on it. Is he really? Mm -hmm. He really wanted to put sprinkles on it. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys quickly everything we ended up getting today. This white linen-y shirt from Zara. Just an easy button up. Pretty much the same one in this blue color. What I did get from Nordstrom. Oh, the green this. is small. Oh shoot, I'm running out of memory. Card. And that the white skirt. That sounds like the most Midwestern thing of all time. What? Marcus and James just left to go to like this little trampoline park. And me and Amelia are gonna fold a bunch of laundry together. She's just chilling. She's like on the brink of sleep, but like not quite sleeping yet. She's just chilling. So I need to fold all of this, unfortunately. Just found this in my drawer. The millions of trucks around my house never gets old. very rarely spits up. Was I dancing with you too hard? Yeah. Do you feel better now? I'm sorry.